everybody, welcome back. This is day two of our uh, journey through the advent of the Christmas season. We're going to be making our way uh, to the birth of Jesus uh, via the book of Luke in the Holy Bible. So I thank you for tuning in today. I thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Be sure to share it with your friends and family and get them to watch as well. We're going to be spending the next uh, 12 days now, 13 days total, leading up to the advent of Jesus Christ and leading up to his birth, Christmas Day. Uh, which we celebrate the gift of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. That's from John chapter 3, verse 16. Now today we're going to be talking about uh, John the Baptist. We're going to be talking about his calling on his life. This is going to be coming from Luke chapter 1, uh, verses 15 through 17. We left off at chapter 1, verse 14 uh, yesterday. Today we're picking up verses 15 through 17. So go on and take a moment right now, pause the video, and read those verses. Okay, I know you've read those verses, and I hope that you, uh, you've taken them in, you've soaked them up, and they're in your uh, heart and in your mind, and ready to uh, think about what exactly does it mean for us. It is an understatement to say that God has a plan for your life as his child. Did you know that you're a child of God? You're a creation of God. God made you and formed you. Uh, one of the scriptures says, for you knit me together in my mother's womb. God put you together. God has a plan and a purpose for you as his child. Some of us are prodigal childs, right? We're prodigal children. We've gone off and done our own thing. We've spent and wasted our talents and our gifts. And we've not lived up to the calling that God has for us. And so he calls us back and he loves us. And as we come back, as we return to him, as we repent of our sins and our wrongdoing, and we come back in a committed life to him, before we even get back to his arms, he's running to us. And that's the story of the prodigal son. So here we see John uh, being talked about by the angel. The angel's still talking to Zacharias uh, in the temple. Uh, Zacharias is hearing what his son's going to be. And his son's going to have a clear calling on his life. Not to drink wine or strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. Uh, we know this is a, the case because later Mary's going to come to Elizabeth and Elizabeth's stomach's going to turn because John the Baptist with the Holy Spirit is going to do a leap in her stomach, in, her, in the womb. And that's awesome. But John is being talked about here by the, by the angel of God. God's angel, God's messenger has come down to Zacharias. He's talking to him and he's telling him that John, this baby that's going to come, even while he's old, even while Elizabeth is old, she's going to become pregnant and she's going to give birth to a son. They're going to name him John. And John is going to be a forerunner, the one who goes before the Lord, before the Lord arrives, before the Lord gets here. He's going to go and spread the message of hope. He's going to return the... Um, father to the children, the children to the father. He's going to work on these relationships, <clears throat> excuse me, that have been broken. And he's going to help them come back together so that people will be ready. He's going to be a voice in the wilderness, preparing the way for the Lord to come. And that's good news uh, because God prepares a way where there seems to be no way. God prepares a way. And sometimes that's through a circumstance. Sometimes that's through a situation. Sometimes that's through a person. And God is choosing to use this new baby that's being formed, who's going to be named John, <clears throat> to prepare the way for the Lord to come, to be with us. Emmanuel, God with us. Let's think for a moment. How is God prepar preparing you in this season of life? Not just the Christmas season, but in the season which you find yourself in. Think about where are you? age-wise, work-wise, money-wise, health-wise, uh, mentally. Where are you? <coughs> Excuse me. We're all at different stages in life. How is God preparing you in this season? What is He doing to get you ready for the next season? What is He doing to close out this chapter and move on to the next chapter in your life? Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, episode, day three now. We're looking at the scripture, uh, Luke chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Luke chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Uh, go ahead and pause the video here, 
and uh, read those verses and then come back and join me. All right, I'm sure that you read those verses. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like it, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends and family. Invite them to watch these uh, shows with you as well so that they can uh, get into this Christmas spirit, uh, get into the celebration of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, and God giving his son uh, to us to be a savior. For unto us a child is born, for unto us a son is given. Uh, so that we can be saved from our sins. And that's what Christmas is all about, celebrating that gift that God gave. Um, so today we're looking at, as I said, Luke chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Elizabeth, uh, the wife of Zacharias, became pregnant. That's good news. Sometimes, though, we look at uh, what God's doing, we think about what is God doing, and it, it makes us wonder, why now? Why not earlier? Why later? His timing sometimes... Uh, isn't what we are looking for the right answer, but God has a plan because God knows the end, He knows the beginning, for He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He knows it all. He knows the story through and through. He knows you and He knows me. And He's better. He's in control. He's sovereign. He's God and He's good. We can trust His timing. And that's one thing that we can do. Now, there are doubts that creep up and creep in, and it's okay to ask God questions. He is big enough to take our questions, uh, but there's no need to doubt. If you have doubts, give those to Him. Let Him know that you have doubts. But give it over to Him and let Him deal with those doubts, because He can, and He will, and He's good. Now, Zacharias talked to the angel of the Lord, and the angel said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute. <laughs> and Zacharias was mute. He didn't speak till his son was born. He got his voice back, and guess what? He's going to name him John. He says his name is John. That's how good God is. God will show you exactly that He means business. And God loves you. Have you ever given up on God? A promise that He's made to you? His Word has so many promises. Have you given up on them? Have you given your faith up in God and His Word and what He can do? Ask God right now to restore your faith in Him. Ask the Lord, Lord, bring back the joy of my salvation. Bring back the joy of your salvation to me. Bring back the faith that I once had in you. Bring it back to me so that I can have faith once again in you, in your work, in your plan, in your goodness, in your grace. Because God is not through with you yet. Did you hear me? God is not through with you yet. You may be young. You may be old, you may be in church, you may be out of church, you may be a believer, you may not be a believer. God is not through with you yet. And I'm confident in this, just as Paul was, that he who begins a good work in you will complete it all the way to the day of Christ Jesus' return. He came once as a baby, and that's what we're looking at here. That's what we're building up to. But he died on the cross, and he rose from the dead, and he's coming back again as the King of kings and Lord of lords, Savior of this world, to bring back and restore order according to His goodwill, to build His kingdom. Thanks for watching this show today. I hope you've gotten something out of it. Be sure to like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and family. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.